Hello, my name is Stephanie Loden and I am a museum specialist with the Naval History and Heritage Command. We are here at our collection storage at NHHC headquarters at the Washington Navy Yard. Um, here we take care of and protect and preserve the collections uh, relating to the history of the United States Navy. Today we're going to do an artifact spotlight with our curator Dave Manning. Take it away, Dave. Hi, I'm Dave Manning, the curator of Small Arms and Ordnance in the curator branch of the Naval History and Heritage Command. And today we're going to be talking about a very interesting artifact from the battleship USS New Mexico BB-40 that reflects its service during World War II. The object that we have to talk to you about today is very interesting because it represents two of the significant moments in the history of USS New Mexico during its service during World War II. The object contains two fragments from two different Japanese kamikaze attacks that struck the ship. The first on 6 January 1945, while New Mexico was providing gunfire support for the invasion of Luzon. The second was on 12 May 1945, during the invasion of Okinawa. The top fragment, which you can see right up here in the upper part of the frame, was from the kamikaze that struck the ship during its gunfire support mission off the coast of Luzon in the Philippines in January of 1945. Uh, the fragment was collected by Seaman First Class William de Gonda, who was a crewman aboard New Mexico. And Seaman de Gonda provided a statement about his finding of the fragment, which you can see here right below it in the frame. The second fragment, which you can see right down here, is very clearly labeled from the invasion of Okinawa, was collected by Fireman Theodore Roosevelt Wickham, who was again another crew member aboard the battleship New Mexico. He also provided a statement, which is down here below and in the frame, describing the circumstances in which he collected the fragment. The two fragments are contained in this frame, which also has photographs of the events, as well as a very detailed description on the back. This was assembled by pharmacist mate William Marshall, who was a corpsman serving with the 6th Marine Division on Okinawa and who witnessed the second kamikaze attack. Witnessing the Japanese suicide attack on New Mexico during the Battle of Okinawa had a profound impact on Marshall and he became much more interested in the history of the ship. Later on in life, he contacted other veterans of the New Mexico and collected these objects to preserve the history of the ship. He then assembled this and recorded the information about where they came from to preserve it. This type of object is important to us here at the Naval History and Heritage Command because it really helps capture the experiences, the personal experiences of individual sailors. Now in this particular instance, it actually involves three different sailors and two major events in the history of the ship. And this type of object, although it may seem rather homemade, is also very interesting because it's almost a kind of sailor art in that it was fabricated from available materials by a sailor. Thanks again for joining us here in our Artifact Spotlight. If you'd like more information about USS New Mexico, please visit our website at history.navy.mil, and we hope to see you next time on our Artifact Spotlight.